okay, so we just created our accounting site. As you can see, it's green because we like the color of money. Um, and we've got our logo with our CEO, Biff Tan, in here. Now, what good is it to have a site that you can't edit? It's not very good. And, and usually when you hear, oh, we need to change the website, that entails calling the IT department or calling a contractor in to change things. Um, for your corporate intranet sites, that's usually not going to be the case with SharePoint. So let me just show you how to do that. You go to your context menu up here in the top, like we talked about in our site layout lesson, and click on the page menu. And you'll get properties that um, are specific to the page. So if I want to edit this page, I'll click edit. And we can see that I've got... Um, I don't know how well you can see that. I've got a heading and then I've got two columns. My site feeds in one and my documents are in the other. So let's say I want to add three columns. You can go over here to your page, your, your I'm sorry, your format text menu. And you can go over to text layout and you can choose one column, column a sidebar, two columns, all these other ones. I want to do three columns with a header. So I'm going to select that. And so now you can see I've got three columns that I can drag things into. I can move things around in them. So that's how you change the layout. And these are just the built-in layouts. You can add more. It's going to be an in-depth process and probably something you'll have to get someone with more advanced skills involved in. But it is possible. You're not stuck there, but just it's not an easy thing to do. And that's out of the scope of this lesson. So let's go ahead and put the accounting mission statement up there. So I want it to be big. So if I put, you know, Biff's consulting agency, accounting, we get numbers. Well, I want to make that bigger. I could always go over here to the text like I could in Word and make it bigger. But, you know, if, if you're typing down later on and you want to put, you know, um, a mission statement, make as much money as possible, okay, you know, then we'd have to change this. And, and what SharePoint does, and, and you can see this in, in the other uh, Office applications, is that you can actually set a style to text that makes it consistent throughout. So if we want the big top headline with the motto to be the biggest and boldest, we'd put it in heading one. So we have formatted that to be heading one. And then we want to make our mission statement smaller, but still pretty big. We'll put it right below that as heading two. Oops. Okay. And that's, that's pretty much how that works. It makes it easy to edit the page. Then you can add a bulleted list, you know, projects, uh, budgets, spreadsheets, and cash. Okay, you can you can increase the indent just like you can in a word processor. You can change the way the text reads. It's it's pretty cool. You can change the justification of the paragraph, all of that. Change the text color. But again, the styles are there to make sure that you can, where did my news feed go? It disappeared. The styles are there to make sure that you can keep a consistent look and feel to all the text that you have on your web page. So if we save that, we now have our accounting page with our motto and our mission statement. And that's, that's how you edit a web page. So the other thing I want to talk about really quick is the page library and adding a page. So if we have accounting and we want to have another site that's maybe for, or not a site so much as a page, maybe we want to have a page that's dedicated to, um, to I don't know, we just want to add a page. If you go to your page menu, you got edit, check out, all these things, what you'll really want to do is go to view all pages. This is where it gets a little tricky. So if you add a new page, I'll call this dashboard. Here's my new dashboard page. And you can see that if I go to my browse menu and take away that ribbon, I've got, I've got the same header uh, menu and the side menu, um, but I want to add some stuff here. So I'll go to my format text and I'll just make it two columns. And just for grins, I'll just call it, because I'm not sure what I'm where I'm going with this as far as the what the page is for. I'll call this column one 
and then here in my second column I'll call it column 2. I spell that right doesn't matter and I'll make that heading 2 as well and so we can put some stuff down here on the site and the page we can insert an app part and we can put our documents over there whoops put our documents over there underneath our column 2 and then let's put a web part here how about a search box there you go save that and here's our dashboard page okay and so if I wanted to maybe add a link to accounting to the accounting site I'd go to page edit I come down here and I, I here's the easiest way to do it is you click on the insert menu and go to link and you could put an address like Google or uh, Chevrolet or Cadillac.com or you could go to the from SharePoint link and what that'll do is bring up a dialogue that lets you choose through all the sites you have and all the pages available so under my accounting site I'm gonna to go to my site pages library we talked about the site pages library in the um, in the library lesson I'm gonna click on dashboard.aspx which is the page I just created and insert and save so now I've got a link to my dashboard page right there on my accounting site pretty cool huh so there was no coding involved with this just a little bit of knowledge on how to use a word processor and maybe you know uh, needing to know a little bit about um, hyperlinks but if you've ever typed you know an, a web address into a, a word processor then you're pretty much golden on there so that's pretty much all we have as far as editing web pages. I hope that cleared it up and made some sense. And um, if you uh, be sure to check out our other lessons. And um, other than that, have a good one.